Okay, we figure you earned it. You spent all last weekend cleaning the yard. So this weekend, let's party. WIBC presents... I think it will be the 27th of June. Well, that was close. Anyway, this Saturday, join WIBC for lunch at Holiday Park from 11.30 till 2. We'll have free burgers from the JTM Paddy Wagon, free chips from Gordon Foods, fresh watermelon, and lots of lemonade. We'll supply everything but the kids. So bring your family to join ours for Saturday in the Park. Holiday Park, this Saturday from 11.30 till 2. From the station that's number one for summer family fun. 1070 WIBC. WIBC. Here's the weather today. It's going to be sunny this morning, just like it is right now. Maybe a scattered thunderstorm later this afternoon. Clear, a little cooler tonight, then partly sunny tomorrow. High today near 80, low tonight 55, and tomorrow's high 80. Indianapolis right now, winds out of the north at 7. Sky's clear, and it's 58 degrees. If you're doing some traveling today, some business uh, uh, activity in Atlanta, maybe you've got to fly in there. Sunny and a high of 91 there in Atlanta today. Chicago, mostly sunny and a high of 77. New York, partly sunny, 81 for the high there. St. Louis, humid, high of 91. Washington, D.C., sunny and humid, and a high of 84. Bob, you wanted Louisville. Yeah. We've got the thunderstorms in the forecast and a high of 86 for Louisville today. Not bad. Again, here in Indianapolis, clear skies, 58 degrees from WIBC, your official weather station. Okay, here's the deal on Joan Rivers and 60 Minutes. Joan Rivers is threatening war with 60 Minutes. Uh, Joan Rivers and the CBS show share a studio restroom. And a 60 Minutes official complains that Joan Rivers' Yorkshire Terrier, Spike, is doing his business on the ladies' room toilet seats. One of Rivers' people went to talk with one of the 60 Minutes people. And Rivers' spokeswoman says that Morley Safer and Ed Bradley made Joan Rivers' assistant cry. They were yelling at her to keep that dog out of there. And she, she started crying, and she went back and told Joan, and Joan got real upset and went uh -huh. over to yell at Morley and, and Ed. Right. Uh, so then Rivers, what, what Rivers did is uh, she's, she's using a toilet seat on her show to demonstrate that little Spike, the Yorkshire Terrier, would fall right through the toilet seat if he got up there to try and do what, he's, what they say he's doing. Right. Now she's demanding an apology from the 60 Minutes folks, and incidentally, uh, the Rivers camp says that they always take Spike outside uh, when he has to go. And I'm, kinda, I'm coming down on the side with, of Joan Rivers on this. I can't, now I I've can't heard of, imagine that. I really I, can't. I've heard of cats. I, I heard that you can train cats to jump on a toilet seat and actually kind of litter box train them to use the toilet. But a do I've never heard of a dog no uh, jumping up on a, on a toilet seat to, to do its business. There's probably a dog trainer out in India who's going to call and say, well, yes, we can do that. But I, yes. I've never even seen anything close to that. Is this biologically possible? Are there any uh, scientists <laughs> or veterinarians who can, who can verify this? Only if you have a St. Bernard. Yeah. Now, see, St. Bernard, that, yeah, St. Bernard could do that standing yeah, up. that's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> and lift you up first, yes. Exactly. So uh, I just don't think this is possible. I don't either. Uh, uh, mm. I just don't think it, it can. Well, again, we'll have to wait and see if we can get a call on that at 239-1070 this morning. I'm Jeff Pigeon. Bob Lamey has sports this morning. It was the draft uh, last night. The Pacers uh, got the guy they wanted, and uh, Shaquille O'Neal is going to be a rich man, too. Very rich man. Shaquille is headed to Orlando today with a traveling party of about 50. He had that many out in Portland yesterday for the draft. He is the number one pick headed to LA, uh, from LSU down to Orlando. It is 6.50 with Jeff Pigeon and the morning team. I'm Bob Lamey, WIBC Sports. Okay, thanks, Bob. And Sharon Allseth is here, too, with the... Uh, a look at some of the top stories that the WIBC news team is continuing to follow at this hour. Sharon? Jeff, unless the rail strike has ended, dire economic consequences are predicted. After 10 days and 9 nights, the lost and stranded hikers have been found and saved. The shuttle Columbia readying for an 1107 liftoff this morning, and two city arson investigators have been shot while on stakeout. We'll have details on these and other stories coming up at 7 o'clock in the WIBC News. Now is the time to find a quality body shop. All around town. 6.53, beautiful morning in Indianapolis. Clear skies and 58 now. Looking for a high today of 78 from WIBC, your official weather station. Big John's up there at Air Traffic Control. Hey, how you doing, John? Well, we're sort of sky surfing on the sunrise this morning, and we've managed to work our way down to the Greenwood area. Thanks for the ride. Big John Gillis, WIBC, Air Traffic Control. Celebrate America's 216th birthday. Game ends June 26th. 
Spot 5B47 at WIBC. Sharon Alseth and Fred Heckman with all the news. Just a couple of minutes. The Blood Center needs some help. The Central Indiana Regional Blood Center invites anyone who is at least 17 years old, weighs a minimum of 110 pounds. Does uh, that guy the Pacers drafted, is he... Is no, he's, he's not quite heavy enough. Malik's he's only about 115. Six foot six. <laughs> and is in good health to donate blood twice this summer if you can. And become registered for a trip to Cancun, Mexico, too. That's nice. not a bad deal. For more information, call 927-1613. If it's happening in central Indiana, you're going to hear about it right here on 1070 WIBC. Birthdays today. Uh, WIBC listener birthdays. Pete Kazakoff celebrating a birthday today. Ruth Ann Brown over in Zeeville, Zionsville. Uh, Leonard Ziska in Carmel. Gene Hoffman and Pat Willis and John Sockrider. Leah Hill from Noblesville. Sheila Deaton. Cora Stoltzfees. Roland Hiles, Tina Elmore, Dorothy Ransom, Teresa Grady, and Donald Craig all having birthdays today, so the best from all of us here at WIBC. Celebrity birthdays include Broadway producer George Abbott. Right. He's 105 today. No. 105, huh? And uh, Carly Simon is a, 47. Had a temperature of 105. No. June Lockhart. Remember June Lockhart? Yes, on Lassie and a few other things. <laughs> right. Yep. She was the mom on Lassie. She's 67 today. She was also, wasn't it, Lost in Space? Yes. Yep. She was lost in space for a while, wasn't she? With Lassie. Yeah, she, and she, uh, okay, June Lockhart was the second mom on Lassie. Remember the first mom, Jeff's Collie, the original mom? No. Who was the original? Do you remember what she, what, what she looked like? I believe her first name was Margaret. That'd be a good trivia question sometime. The first mom on Lassie. Margaret Thatcher. Or Jeff's Collie. Oh. Mar I'm thinking Margaret, no, not Margaret Mead. She's an anthropologist <laughs> or was an anthropologist. Margaret something or other. That's a very That's good That's a strange trivia. last name, something or other. Well, you know how those showbiz people yes, are. that's exactly right. So anyway, if you're having a, having a birthday today, you have a good one. From all of us at 1070 WIBC, 658. Mm. Right now, it's El Dorado time at Lockhart Cadillac. This ad was paid for by all the people supporting the Dan Coats for Indiana Committee. Real quick, before we head into the newsroom, Barb is on the line, west side of town. Hi, Barb. Hi, Pidge. How you doing? Real good. Okay. I just wanted you to note that the first mom on Lassie was Jan Clayton. Jan Clayton. Huh. Yeah. That's very good. You've done some very quick and very good research on that, Barb. <laughs> Thank you. Jan Clayton. Was, was, was the character named Margaret? Was, I, I had Margaret sticking in my head for some reason. Oh, the character's name I can't recall. Just the actress. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, Jan Clayton. That's very, very good research. And you were very, very quick. Steve, uh, our producer, Steve uh, Hill. Steve, set, uh, set Barb up with a uh, with the commemorative T-shirt, all right, from WIBC. Okay, Barb? Oh, thank you. Thanks for the help. Mm -hmm. We'll get into a little more trivia in just a bit. All or nothing breakfast trivia. Your chance to win some real nice prizes in a couple of minutes at 1070 WIBC at 7 o'clock. Radio Indiana. WIBC. Indianapolis. A pair of arson investigators shot while on stakeout. Some of the railroad strikers are very bitter. In Indianapolis, 63 degrees under sunny skies. Scattered thunderstorms later in a high of 78.